Continue striving, never give up, no matter what challenge life throws upon your way. Hey, why that oil still look nice, right? How's it look, guys? How's it look? Somebody tell me the damage. Is your mechanic out there? Oh, psh! Check these out. Yeah. I'm gonna be able to go 110 miles per hour just because of this little turbo box. Da -da -da. The moment of truth. Welcome back, guys. It's your boy, Tune, and it's another groovy day. Before we start today's vlog, I just want to give a little motivational shout out to life. Life, thanks for turning up the flame and trying to make things interesting. When nobody believes in your dream but you, there's a reason. That's because the dream was given to you and it wasn't given to them. If nobody can see your end goal, it's okay, guys. Be strong, stick, stick through it. Continue striving, never give up, no matter what challenge life throws upon your way. All right, guys, so enough with the motivational spiel. And now we're back. Yeah, we back with that R50, guys. And we have all the ingredients to do a correct oil change, brake change. See, got the transmission oil. I got a spark plug somewhere around here. And on this side, ha, we got everything you guys been waiting for. Ew, look at that, yo. Hey, yo, if they gave you a hundred bucks and said, drink that water, yo, would you drink it? Would you drink it? Ew, that's that's like Lyme disease, right? You'll get like lockjaw, like some type of infection. That's rusted, dirty water. Yo, check that out, though. Look how thick and nasty that looks. Wow, what do you guys think? Do you guys think the rust came off? Like, I don't know, pause, comment below. Did the rust come off? Did the rust not come off? Did I waste my time? Oh no, did I just make some soup mix here? <laughs> Yo, all right, y'all, so I think I'm gonna let that sit longer. I'm not even gonna take it off yet. I'm gonna do the oil change. I'm gonna do the spark plug change. I'll probably do the brakes. <sighs> tools willing, hopefully I got all the correct tools, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, let's start with the spark plug oil and then we'll save the pipe reveal for last let's see if the rust came off all right look you see that that's the drain bolt i'm about to drain the training fluid If I drop the oil, anybody want some lunch? Look, I got lunch for two. Just in case anybody wants some lunch, you know, it's vegan. You know, I haven't eaten yet, so I'm willing to share my lunch with y'all. You know I mean, say no, these joints is empty. What y'all thought I was gonna share? Say no. <laughs> Yo, look it. These joints are empty. I'm gonna use these as a little ghetto oil pan. Yeah, y'all, ghetto. In the ghetto. Yeah, we're gonna use it as an oil pan. So, let's drop this joint. Ready, ready, ready? Full on get on this. You ready? Bam, look at that. You see, I knew that oil pan was going to work. It ain't even a lot of oil. Check it out. Hey, why that oil still look nice, right? That oil look nice and brown. It look like honey. Wow, check it out. It looks good. It don't even look that bad. Yeah, but we about to put some fresh stuff in it just to be safe. Let me open this up so that it can air out faster. All right, guys, so while that's overflowing, what I'm going to do is start the spark plug why not right start the spark plug how's it look guys how's it look somebody tell me the damage is your mechanic out there somebody mechanical take a look at this Check it out. Was it running lean? Is it running rich? I don't know. So the air good. Let's put on the new John, right? All right, so I'm gonna hand tighten this. Once I hand tighten it, I'll be able to hit it with the actual ratchet. It's good to hand tighten it so you don't strip it. You don't wanna misthread it. Once it's in with your hand firmly, then you can put the socket in and tighten it. Spark plug change complete. Whoops. All right, let's check this John out. There you go. I'm like, come on, man. What's up? I was weak. <laughs> All right, let's this joint right here. Leverage, leverage. Always remember that. Leverage. When you're working on a car and you want them really hard bolts, 
you usually need a breaker bar for the leverage. Check these out. Yeah. Let's open these joints up. Open them up. Open them up. The brake caliper is finally installed onto the roller. As you can see, the brake pads are ready to go. Now I just have to line back up the bolts and lock everything back in. update on the oil change looks like this it's not dripping no more it's done check it out it didn't even fill up both trays so I was good just on one tray so I'm gonna put some transmission oil inside that right there guess what we're gonna change next guess what we're gonna change next the battery, why not? Out with the old and in with the new. Check it out. Westco, ew. Sealed AGM Power Sport Series. I'm gonna get a whole nother 20 horsepower. I'm gonna be able to go 110 miles per hour just cause of this little turbo box. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please excuse my workspace, but check it out, check it out, check it out. 90% of the job is done. Battery installed, brakes installed, spark plug installed, oil installed. The only thing we're waiting for is dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. The moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, hey yo, it's stuck. Dun, dun, dun. It doesn't want to come out. Oh, alright. Hey yo, look at the box. I told y'all the box was gonna break, right? The box is filled up. Hey, yo, what if I ruined the pipe? It's black, yo. Hey, yo, what if I wrestled it more? Yo, why ain't y'all tell me that? <laughs> All right, I gotta take this box out without ruining it. Give me a second. Woo, first things first. This thing smells like vinegar death. <laughs> this thing stinks. All right, straight off the back, nothing looks to have changed. Nothing looks to change. Um, let me take it out. So I can start, I guess, hitting it with a Brillo pad. I want to see if any of this rust comes off. Let's see. All right, right off the back, I'm seeing rust rub off here. All right. Let me grab a Brillo pad. I think I got a Brillo pad right here. Oh. Brillo pads usually help out. So I'm not even gonna fraud on y'all. This is a messy, messy job. It's actually not coming out that bad. Like we can actually see the sign again. You see? We can see the sign. Over here, you can see that it's actually getting chrome again. Check it out. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease. I don't know if I didn't use a lot of vinegar, like my mixture was off. But look at this. It's coming out, yo, it's coming out clean. I mean, there's a whole bunch that I gotta do. Like it gets worse as I get closer to the exhaust flange. But it's working. Let me give y'all an update in a little bit. Both of my hands look like this. The phone looks like this. Believe it or not, this is how my phone looks. You see how messy this looks? This is how it looks. Update, update, update. All right, guys, so this is taking forever. As you can see, it looks like there's some hope. You see? It looks like there's some hope. The only thing is, I don't have anything abrasive enough to remove it. So I think I'm gonna make a stop by the local AutoZone and pick something up like sandpaper or see if there's any type of chemical. But that vinegar idea, I mean, I wouldn't say it completely failed, but it did half the job. <laughs> and I gotta do the rest, which is the hard part, this over here. 
right guys so we're back and check it out we got a little kit with some sandpaper right here p180 p320 p400 p1000 and p1500 that's all different grades of sandpaper and then we also got a rust-oleum rust dissolver it says it works fast in 30 minutes all right guys there's hope look at this i let some of that chemical sit and it's taking a lot of it off check that out you see how it's turning white look that's where it used to be clean this was all dirty now look at that look at the separation i haven't even scrubbed it off yet Yeah, to be honest, this pipe isn't even gonna get burnt again. You know that burnt metal look? It's actually gonna look silver, you see it? I'm gonna have to get some Mother's, Mother's Polish, and after I get it all silver, start polishing it out to like make it chrome. I didn't even want a chrome pipe. I wanted that burnt look, but if not, we're gonna have an ashy pipe. <laughs> Good looking Ains, good looking on that, you know what I mean? My cousin got me that little Domo John right there. guys so check it out looks pretty good right we didn't get it all the way down but as you guys see right here you see how it's starting to come off you see the pitting you see all the little holes it's starting to come off look at it believe it or not the rust is coming off check it out even here the rust is coming off it's just gonna take a lot more attempts to get it clean down here than it is over here because over here wasn't that bad this is ready for polishing for real, for real, you could already start hitting it with like a thousand grit sandpaper, then four thousand grit, then eight thousand grit to get a nice shiny, and then hit it with some mothers. And after you polish it and buff it out with some mothers several times, you'll get this pipe silver or like chrome polish color versus that burnt stuff. How do I get this pipe burnt again if I want that burnt look? What do I do? I take like a torch, and after I make it all silver, just burn it again, right? I don't know. Come back for tomorrow's vlog. It's gonna be part three. I'm not gonna give up yet, guys. I was thinking about just putting it on like this, but nah, I went this far. Why not try to get this as clean as I can? It's all right, you and me got it covered for whatever comes along. The city bites real hard, but we got vision filling pockets with our home.